It's Red Carpet Diary from the Toronto International Film Festival. Still is the true life love story of an elderly man risking everything to build a comfortable home for his ailing wife. Director Michael McGowan joins me now in studio. Um, you know, Michael, two years ago you opened the film festival with Score, a hockey musical. This is a, a very different film. Why did you want to make it? I mean, whenever I'm looking for the next project, I'm always looking for something that I think you know, audiences will engage in. I read this article about this guy it had a natural foe in the building inspector, and I thought, I think there's a chance that this could be interesting. And I flew out and met the real Craig Morrison and just sort of fell in love with him and thought, try to do it. And I also think, as a director, I'm always, or a writer, sorry, I'm trying to do different things. Like, I don't want to make the same movie 10 times. And so, if, I, if the story I think could work, you know, I think I could write it, and that's sort of the appeal. I know that you had a former life as a journalist. Yeah. When you went out there and you interviewed him, what was your initial impression of his, uh, of him and his story? There's a couple things. Like, I love the East Coast, but some parts of the East Coast are pretty grim. Where he lives, St. Martin's, is on the Bay of Fundy. It was like, wow, this is cinematically incredible. Like, I went out in November as well, where you're sort of thinking, Canada, Canada doesn't show itself that well in November. Right. It was just, like, awesome. And then meeting him, he was 92 at the time, he took me around his truck, and it sort of became more and more, I found out more and more stuff. Like, there's a, this thing I use about Babe Ruth baseball, like, when he was 10 years old, like, he, he, when, when I went out there, he pulls out this baseball signed by Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth, and I'm like, this is all, it, it was way better than even I could have anticipated, because a couple other times I sort of went down a road of trying to write stuff that was based on a true story, I just didn't, I ended up thinking, ah, I just, I'm not into it, but this actually became way better. You know, uh, the film is really about uh, unconditional love. Sure. Um, wh why did you want to explore that theme? And, and particularly, you know, most love stories these days that are, that are big cinematic stories are about younger folks. This is not. Well, I mean, it's an audience that, I mean, you can't compete against a $200 million movie. Um, but I just, I think there's a universality to the story. I mean, we either, you know, is, is it marketed to the 18-year-old? No, of course not. But if you're 18 and you have grandparents, there's a point of entry. I think there's different points of entry for the film. And I, I was interested in two things. Obviously, what you said, exploring love, you know, in decline, even though the love itself isn't. But there's, you know, as the Alzheimer's progress, it's, it's death by a thousand cuts. And also, you know, just what it means, like, when do you give up? Like, when do you say, like, he's 88, he starts cutting down trees to build a house. To me, that, that this guy was doing this, it was, I wanted to explore the, it's in the title too, like the still as in you're still emotionless or still as in still striving, still not yielding, basically. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming. That was great. Thank you very much.